All right, so last night we were, sh we were talking about how to use the percent circle. And uh, tonight's video is about constructing a percent circle, so or construct constructing a circle graph using the percent circle. So the first thing we're going to do is I took the information from class on Monday, and we were looking at, out of the nine students that were in math class that day, uh, that in terms of snacks, what were the favorite snacks? We had uh, one person liked fruit, two people liked cookies, one person liked granola bar, no one chose candy bar, which I'm happy about, and five chose some other kind of snack. So if we were going to construct a circle graph and we wanted to use this information, uh, we start by first saying, well, how do I convert this number into these numbers into percentages? Because the graph that you had just showed the number of students and not the percents. So let's start with the first one. I first know that there are nine students in the class. So if I look at the fruit there, it would be one out of nine. So that's the fraction. And how do I take that fraction and convert it to a percentage? So let's just do that. We've talked about this for the last maybe month or two in class about how to do this. So we take the one and divide it by nine. So because every fraction means the numerator divided by denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. So nine can't go into one, of course, so it goes into 10. We're going to put the decimal right up there so we don't forget. And it goes in one time, so we're going to subtract that. And what you notice right away, because I get a one, is that I'm going to have a repeating decimal. It's going to just keep being 9 into 10 over and over again. So it is this, okay? And the only reason that I took it out to two digits is that we are going to convert that to the nearest whole percent. So we were talking today and just refreshing our memory of what to do to change a decimal to a percent. And the way that we do that is multiply by 100. And of course, the shortcut is move the decimal two places to the right. And so that would be about 11%. So rather than go through these steps for all of the rest, I'm just going to write these out here. So we have for 1 ninth is equal to 11%. And you can probably guess that 2 ninths then is equal to about 22%. And what else do we have? We have 5 ninths. And that's equal to about, and this is 55555, five, 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 five. like these are uh, repeating decimals, so is this one, except we're going to round it to the nearest whole percent. So since 5, we would round up with a 5, we're going to say 56%. So we're going to have um, one part that is 11%, one that's 22%, one that's 56%, sorry, I didn't need to put that decimal there. And the last one is another, one, another piece that is one-ninth or 11 percent. And so first we just want to double check. If we take those numbers and add them up, do we in fact get 100 percent? So 8, 9, 10, and 7, 8, 9, 10, yes, we get 100 percent. So we just made sure, double checked. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a circle that I had set up already. But you would construct your circle if you don't already have one. We're just going to use this one right here. I'm just going to cover that up. And using a straight edge, and this, this your ge geometry template will serve as a straight edge as well as, let's see if I scooch this over a tiny bit. There we go. And move this up. There. It'll serve as a, as a straight edge as well as your percent circle. So the first one is one ninth or eleven percent. So we'll start and we are just going to, I'm just going to move this out of the way. And we'll put that right over, line it up, and we're going to make a little mark where the zero is and another mark where eleven percent is. So from here I'm just going to go ahead and create my piece of this circle graph that represents 11%. Okay, and so that would be 11%. So the next one, we're just ignoring these because these, we're not doing that. Um, so this next one is going to be 22%. So the 11% 
represented, we can call this one the fruit. And then the 22% is cookies, so let's try that one. So again, remember just when, when we were using this um, last night, you gotta make sure that you don't go back and line the zero up in the same place you started. We're gonna start now moving forward from where we left off. So we're gonna line up the zero with the second line that we created. And now we're gonna find 22%. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Eh, gotta make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right, and so that one is 22%. That was the cookies. And the next one was another 11%. So again, we start where we left off. Find 11%, moving to the right always or clockwise. Okay, and there's another 11%. I'm just going to say G bar. Those are the granola bars. And the next one was five ninths. Um, and actually, I don't have to do anything else because I have fruit, cookies, granola bar. And then for the candy bar, there was absolutely none. So this amount should equal 56%. So now all we have to do is let's just go ahead and verify that. Make sure we did the measuring right. So if I place my, bleh, let's line it right up in the center. And if you look over here, it's, uh, get, that, get that center dot right on. It's pretty close. So right here would be 56%. So you can see that that matches up. So we're just gonna write in there, 56%. Oops, and that was other. All right, so there is a quick little demonstration of how to first do the math. So we're gonna divide numerator by denominator um, to create a decimal. Take the decimal, multiply by 100 to get the percent. Take the percent circle, and you can go ahead and create your own circle graph using percent circle. Um, all right.